my name is uh, Florian Domwa. I'm an artist from uh, Germany and Switzerland, living in both countries. And I'm doing a, a video a laser beam installation here uh, at Boston University. So uh, we have these two buildings, uh, which uh, are nicknamed Ubog Number no. One and Stuvi Two, and they both kind of uh, are shortcut or kind of are uh, brought together by a light beam. And I'm interested in how to change the situation by a very minimal intervention. I mean, a light beam is almost nothing. But then I'm using these two buildings, so these two buildings are extending it already. So they make they both bring together a sculpture. It's kind of a big sculpture, and because of the measurement and this kind of uh, the buildings being rooted in the earth, and after a while you're know, not sure you know what is the horizon of that piece. There's a junction be between the two buildings, and this junction is famous in the U.S. because it's the only junction where you have pedestrians car traffic, interstate, uh, um, uh, Amtrak, uh, local railway, um, boats, airplanes, everything. So it's like really everything is going through these, uh, between these two buildings. And interestingly enough, for me personally, it's also a generational thing here, because one is from the 60s and one is from today. So, and one is from an architect, a male architect, who kind of is kind of having a statement here, and the other one is by a company, architecture company, so without an author, uh, 50 years later. And so, yeah, so there are a number of kind of things that I find interesting. I wouldn't differentiate too much between inside the museum and outside. Obviously, outside it's kind of more uh, uh, accessible to many people because many, a, a lot of people don't go into the museum. But I think uh, art still plays a very important role uh, in, in kind of what, what living means. Um, I mean, uh, sorry to say, but everybody's hunting for money. But uh, money is only a promise. I mean, it's a promise of that something will, you can do something with it. But there's no quality in money. I mean, it doesn't smell, it doesn't taste, it, there's nothing in it. So um, in this kind of constant promise of, you know, for later, uh, you could say it's promising life for later. I think art is the moment when life becomes now, and and so in the sense, in this sense, I think it's the most important thing that you can do. And I hope people uh, will realize that uh, that they not always dream of tomorrow, but become more aware of today. Well, I hope uh, to initiate uh, uh, initiate some thinking or uh, some kind of dreaming or kind of getting away or. Uh, even getting awake, <laughs> which is sometimes the same. Uh, uh, so I hope that people will kind of, yeah. Um, I think there is a certain, for me at least, there is a certain poetic in this movement and in this kind of two buildings being connected. And uh, I hope people will use that uh, poetic to develop their own thought.